Yo guys, what is going on? Nickname is just yellow and today this Norwegian hardcore PC gamer is gonna make a quick video about, uh, as quick as I can make it, about hitboxes in Counter-Strike. So the fun thing here is that uh, they are not working as they should in the context of uh, you hitting a guy perfectly and you are like aiming and then you want to transcend that over to reality. In reality there's a lot bigger and better of a, of a margin for you to actually hit a shot rather than you know transcending that over into a shooter game. Now I'm not gonna go all fucking morbid and stupid on you but uh, let's just go into the game and take a look at exactly how bad it is. So I got a couple of links laying around like I like my favorite list is just exploding so that, you know that aside digging these up took some time. Uh, different kind of tabs here but anyways as we can clearly see these uh, hitboxes comparing them directly to the uh, model um, they are not working out as good as they should okay so let's let's say that uh, you're shooting at a guy standing sideways and you're aiming a little bit too high for his head or maybe you're spraying uh, shots can actually go through that little crack right there and that's really frustrating when you're looking at exactly how this stuff here is built up okay because you're supposed to be able to hit the guy but you aren't which is just very frustrating and also in other case scenarios you can you know shoot directly at a guy I'm not exactly sure how the bullet can go through them but if that's possible too what else could be possible uh, another thing that we need to keep in mind is that the hitboxes and the tick system for how they move in the game, uh, they work almost like small snapshots. It's almost as if you were to take this model right here, uh, or this uh, Gigan member, and as he's moving, uh, moving, um, you know, along along the horiz uh, horizontal line or whatever the hell we can make up fictionally in our head, um, per tick, he will like like his hitboxes. They will be at a specific position. All right. Which is very interesting because that means that if you shoot in between one of the ticks in which the place the hitboxes will be at, if you shoot right in between where there won't be anything, you're not hitting anything, which is really funny. So some games they make compensations for this and it end up in being really fucking frustrating because the compensation does not even represent where you're actually shooting at the guy if you're then or directly shooting at the guy rather than the system, you know, you trying to hit where the system would assume you or the guy to be because it's compensated. So that entire concept needs to be tossed out the window, aka you can't really play Counter-Strike with super high ping, which is something that um, the console guys are still getting subjected to, which kind of sucks. But again, that is because of how they work, there's stuff, let's not derive into that. So, moving forward, uh, with how this stuff works, um, there are a lot of ways in which you can fix it at, in which uh, one of them would be to rework either the model or just the hitboxes, or both at the same time, which I would recommend. Now, exactly how the hitboxes will, um, I guess you could say, affect performance, I'm not really sure how that would go to a certain level, but what I do know is that uh, it could potentially hit the performance a little bit if it were to increase or rather fine adjust the hitboxes, but also just making them represent what you're actually shooting at a lot more. I think that would be super good uh, in terms of playing Counter Strike, because that way that means that you actually hit these areas of the models in which there should be something there but there isn't and or there should be a guy that you can hit there but there is nothing really like the, these are just I guess you could say smaller things that are still coming out from the console version of this kind of game because you know they were all made at the same time but then the PC version was just fucking evolved and morphed into some kind of godlike game compared to the older console versions which are like 2012 releases but that aside, them not getting updates aside, uh, yeah, moving on, moving on too, uh, they are not representing anything at all. So like, either you could do it the easy way right now, just increase the hitboxes and make them better or represent the models better, or you could like do both steps at the same time. Uh, keep in mind that, uh, and I believe like this dude right here has the, a lot more breakdown-y version of these pictures in terms of the hitboxes, and where there are dead zones um, in which you can shoot at but nothing will happen. He made a couple of uh, uh, things uh, in which he pointed out, uh, yeah, like he, he wrote a lot of stuff here. He pointed out that apparently the hitboxes have been increased it on in some respects. I think this is good, but if there still is like a small possibility of being able to shoot through the guy, as long as that is patched, okay, there we go. That now at least something is fixed. But as you can see with the shoulders here, and you know, depending on what angle you're shooting at the head and neck area and stuff like this. Uh, it still doesn't really matter. In which I want you people, what I want you to take from this is that what you should always do is to try and aim at the center of somebody's head. If you want to spray them down, aim at the top chest middle level of their 
your body. Because if you then catch somebody out uh, outside, you know, they're standing in the wild and you're then starting to spray at them, as long as you just got a pr pretty goddamn good spray, you will kill him. Like, you will kill the enemy. Because now you're not relying on something that can be obscured by tick rate, whether or not it's 64 or 128. Doesn't really matter. Or if the client show you hits and then you're responding to what you're shown, even though, again, the server's actual hit is being calculated differently, so you don't really get to see that visually. I know it's really annoying, but that's just how the game has to be so that hackers can't really grab a hold of that code and fuck with the game even further. Uh, even though, again, they get banned anyway, so fuck those kids. But, yeah, moving along. It's, like... It just shows us that it's almost better to waste a couple more bullets because it just pays off so much more. In which, um, yeah, the only thing that we can really do in this kind of case scenario is to play around it, deal with it, know that it is there, point it out as many times as we can in, so, in such a way in which Valve actually deals with the hitboxes. And hopefully, you know, it's going to be a lot better to play Counter-Strike as long as this stuff here is, you know, made in a very sensible way. Other than that, there's not too much more to say. Just figured I would, in the end here, show you this little fun post here. I, I can link all these in the description. If I forget, please tell me, because I'm a forgetful bastard. Yeah, this is what you can get if you uh, turn down the graphics to, like, I don't know, Duplo, Lego, uh, Danish glory, uh, glory graphics. <laughs> so anyways, hopefully people enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, supporting the channel, in which you then get to support everybody else, because I'm a fucking ass addict at doing YouTube. Uh, yeah, there you go. That could be kind of nice of you. And also that would be nice to me because I enjoy doing this. So anyways, um, yeah, uh, thanks for the support. You people are absolutely amazing. And I also got a Twitter and a Facebook page. You can read all about that in the description below. Everything from that to the font I use in the game. But what I'm using right here, by the way, is called the buff. It's like a stretchy piece of cloth. Um, use it to keep my massive fucking hair in. So there you go. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. And don't get beastified when you play, people.